Welcome combatants, we're going to talk about Havoc and how will he be stopped? What will happen to our Havoc? And could it be possible Liu Kang leaves him in this realm to subdue, subdue his torture? But do like, subscribe with the bell notification, follow his future for more content. So now when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, we're obviously thinking about Titan Havoc and all the Havocs that he has brought forth into this timeline. Will one of them re remain? Will he remain? Will he be destroyed along with all of them? We do not know. Now we know he has the Kamidogu, which is what has given him even more power. Because when he comes there, there are two different scenes. As you can see, when he first fights them, he doesn't have the Kamidogu dogus in his chest he's literally just normal havoc but there are scenes where he has it in his chest and he doesn't have the little like belt thing going around his body so that shows he's become more of an ultimate version of havoc but the way he's able to take them all down just normally without needing to actually have the Kamidogu, it makes him more of a threat a more dominant threat a more evil or wicked a threat now could it be possible this version of um titan havoc won't be defeated in a way like everyone else will erased or something by Liu Kang but instead will have to be imprisoned somewhere maybe he will have to be imprisoned in a new chaos realm that Liu Kang and them will create probably out of Saido the reason why I say that is because remember in some of the intro dialogues with Havoc and other characters when he's talking to them to join his crusade you can hear him say that he wants to change this Saido into the chaos realm which he's going to because the order realm doesn't exist instead Saido does so well, I think the order realm does exist and that's where he is but it's just the chaos realm instead right now so I think that that's what's going to happen is that he's going to help this Havoc turn the realm into the chaos realm or Havoc already has from this era but this new Havoc is going to kill him because remember our Havoc doesn't have the same ambitions this is more about liberation of the people liberating them to stand up and cause chaos whereas this version of Havoc he doesn't want liberation he doesn't want to free people and make them go against their um, their captors or their leaders and kill them and cause chaos he wants to actually make sure all of them cause chaos that everybody's in a certain position where they are causing chaos whether there's death on both sides innocent people don't he loves the combat and the chaos so he is the midway version where it doesn't matter to him how the people are or what goes on as long as there is chaos so i do feel like we will be seeing this version possibly not be defeated but instead be imprisoned in a realm that they will create in this timeline called the chaos realm where Liu Kang can watch and they can watch him to make sure he doesn't do anything bad and doesn't go against any other realms because i don't think they can actually kill havoc because he doesn't seem to be the type of person who can be defeated every storyline everything that's going on with him he's crafting it he's making some wicked decisions some bad decisions beating people with his own head he's doing some stuff he's already changed a character in this timeline like Bihan into noob cyber something that wasn't meant to happen in Liu Kang's new era but instead he has he has also got the Kamidogus something that was not meant to happen something that wasn't meant to happen in this timeline and they were meant to be left as relics as artifacts that were not to be found but instead he has made sure that that has happened so that he can gain the total power which is why I think that he will actually be the one to be able to stay in our new era because he's going to kill this havoc because he's going to make sure that this havoc either goes with his ambitions or doesn't if he doesn't he's going to die and because this havoc doesn't share the same ambitions of wanting to just kill and have chaos he's going to look at that as a weaker version of himself because our one right now wants to liberate people and let them cause chaos along with him but this havoc doesn't want any liberation he just wants chaos so he's looking at that as weaker so if this chaos realm does exist and does get created we will also probably see the order realm get created where he will be trialed maybe that version of havoc will be trialed and his power will be relinquished he will be stopped by Liu kang and the gang and he will be relinquished of the evilness that he had the power that he had and just be as normal as the havoc that we have in our realm but he will be the only havoc in our realm and he will be put into the chaos realm banished to there for good and never be able to come back out but obviously if you all know havoc he always finds ways to come back out he always finds certain ways to do the things that he wants to do because he is naturally born on chaos even if it means he injures his body for centuries or a millennium he will choose to come out when he chooses to and i do believe 
believe that would be something. I mean, remember MK11 where they put Garrus in the Chaos Realm and they're like, um, Havoc will have fun with him. They made it like it was a prison place. They're like it was a place not to be wanting to go into. It was a place of fear, terror, darkness. And I do feel like that's something they will do in this new timeline. And this Havoc will be relinquished of his Titan status. His universe will be non-existent, but he will be watched over by Liu Kang and them like in this new Sido. And our Havoc will cease to exist because this version of him will be the only one that will remain in this timeline kind of like a prisoner in a realm of chaos that he can enjoy and relish in but he will never be able to escape and cause trouble again but i do feel he will still be able to do that at some point but obviously let me know what you guys think i liked this theory i liked how this might go for titan havoc anything's possible with him i would love to see how their chaos realm is going to look when they get into it in this era we already know that we're going to get the new one as well but i can't wait to see what's going to happen with havoc do you think he's going to get destroyed do you think they're not going to be able to do it and they're going to just have to seal him away and keep watch of him in this timeline do you think that our version of Havoc is going to be killed because he's going to be looked at as weaker by the Titan Havoc because his ambitions and goals are not aligned with his and it should just be only chaos no liberation no helping just chaos but let me know what you think about these people and do like subscribe this is your boy future boy heading back to future stay frosty peeps peace